the the first you know well, live episode. Hello, are we here? We are here. We are here, and we are live. This is the joys of live podcasting, folks. <laughs> Welcome to the Captain Viz and Mask Guy Show. Uh, it's nice to be live with you guys again after almost a month. Uh, tonight we will be talking about Legends of Wrestling uh, convention, which was here in Winnipeg a couple of days ago, and uh, I think I'm gonna just open up, you know, the floodgates and let Captain Fizz rant for a bit. So sit back, you're gonna love this one, Captain. Hit the music. Everybody, welcome back to the Captain Fizz and Mask Guy Show. As always, I am Captain Fizz. Greetings once again from the seventh moon of thunder. I am that Mask Guy, uh, and we're, we we are going to be getting into talking uh, about Legends of Wrestling today uh, a little bit later in the show, just because of um, uh, I got some uh, I don't know unique story to tell. And first of all, welcome back, Lazy Nerd. It is awesome to see you. Uh, you know, part of our live. So, quote unquote live audience. Crazy um, nerd. Uh, welcome back from your vacation. We're glad to have you back. Um, but recently, I joined um, a Facebook group for The Walking Dead. Uh, as everyone knows, I am actually a big fan of The Walking Dead, both in the uh, TV as well as the comics, graphic novels. No matter you know whatever spectral you actually land on there. <laughs> I don't like to call them comics because they are really graphic and they're really, you know, more for, towards the graphic novel kind of thing. But everyone knows, as we've, we've both witnessed on the show, I love to debate. Uh, debating is pretty much my go-to thing. and I don't know if it's so much debating as much as you just like to stir the pot. A little bit of both. Uh, in this case, I was actually trying to have a legitimate conversation with somebody. Uh, it, it actually started yesterday where we were talking about how... Uh, Rick's group is broken and, you know, things like that. And I went into the whole psychological uh, aspect of this, of how, you know, if someone was actually truly broken or what, of how they were they would act, as well as, you know, who, um, who people were before the zombie apocalypse determines what they are, you know, in the... In the zombie, you know, zombie apocalypse. So, like, for example, if you are... Um, I, I have to say this, if you're like a dick like me, uh, you're generally not going to be much of a pushover uh, in the zombie apocalypse. You're going to be that front and center guy, you know, whether you're you're right or wrong, you're going to be that, you know, the muscle, so to speak. But if you are a very timid and, you know, very quiet type of person and you don't like, you know, causing issues or standing up, you're not, you're, you're not going to be a leader, you know, in the post-zombie apocalypse. We, we all know that. You are who, who you are, and nothing is going to change that. And that's what human, you know, behavior is, and that is, is awesome. Um, so I spent uh, last night having a, a friendly conversation with that, and, you know, I po- you know, politely said that I respect their opinion, but their opinion was wrong in this, in this cir- circumstance. Um. It, <laughs> uh, today, I really don't like explaining myself to people who either A, don't speak a lick of English, or B, don't have the brains, uh, brain capacity to uphold a conversation with, you know, a cactus, let alone another person. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, that is what I found myself doing today. I was debating, um, I asked simple questions that... They took as me being a dick. Um, so <laughs> I was a dick without even trying this time. That, that's actually quite an epic feat for myself. Um, but I was, they, they claimed they were a huge Walking Dead follower, you know, since the beginning of the show. 
and they were adamant on saying show. So I wanted to point point out, or at least question, if they were a follower of the graphic novels beforehand, and it felt like I was talking to a brick wall. They pretty much acted like they did not know uh, what the book were, or if, if, if it even existed, which... I'm all for it. Like, I know people aren't going to be big followers of that. You know, they find a show they like, they, they follow it, you know, you know, from the start there, they don't realize that there was a beforehand. Uh-huh. Um, fully aware of that. So I asked a question that I guess kind of made it sound like I was a royal dick and I meant to, you know, uh, what do you call it? I, I meant to start something. But I asked them if they even knew what the books were. Now, <laughs> simple question and it resulted in this whole thing of anytime I asked about the books or if they were a follower of the books or, you know, if they, and I asked the question of what their opinion on, you know, the book going a different, you know, being a different way of the TV show, which is a legit, you know, question about you know, not just The Walking Dead, but any comic book related movie or TV series, there is going to be that little thing where it's not the same. So to me, I like to know what people's you know opinions and feelings of that is, and their response was that I was um, testing people. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but how is asking a legitimate question about a legitimate topic to figure out someone's legitimate you know, feelings testing? Um, the whole group, and I, I think this is what's wrong with Facebook and what's wrong with society, is people are afraid to put you know, afraid to, uh, test their opinions. You know, I, I, I love other people's opinions. Um, I may not agree with, you know, 95% of them, uh, but right. I, I, I do listen to them. And if you won't even acknowledge that this other person has an opinion or this other person has, uh, a different, you know, different idea than you, then the problem isn't that person. The problem is you. And I feel like every time you try to debate a legitimate TV show, a movie, like what we do on a weekly basis, we always differ opinions on on movies. And that's what makes this thing so great is because of that difference of opinions. And if you can't legitimately recognize other people's opinions, whether you agree with them or not, then you should seriously question whether or not you are a true fan of what you're watching. And that is my rant. That is your rant. <laughs> I, now, I, just, it, I think it's stupid. Now, it, it should be noted that you were told that you should have started a, a new thread. <laughs> yes, yes. They actually, after failing to recognize what a book is, which I, I really can't wrap my head around. I can't wrap my head around that they don't know um, what, the book, what a book is, period. They seem to kind of get confused. Um, they actually went into detail of how I can actually, in the group, post my own question, um, you know, of how, of, of, of my question to everyone else, which is kind of ironic that they want, they, they actually feel that I am stupid enough to not know how to post my own question, yet I am talking to them in a Facebook conversation. Uh, <laughs> then they also said that some, and this is the best comment of all, this is a two-part conversation that they had. The first part is they proceeded to tell me that I shouldn't m- m- mention anything about the books because people who haven't read the books might view that as a spoiler. Okay, I agree. But then they told me to go do it. So I'm torn between the fact of whether I should listen or not listen. <laughs> it's I, I don't like contradictory people like that. It's like either do it or don't do it and... I, I don't know. I, I think this person has opened up a, a really big can of worms that I am going to enjoy stuffing down their face. Uh, <laughs> Something tells me you're not going to be part of this group for very much longer, one way um, or the other. There's a few of us that have a bet going on right now of how long I will last in this group, and the bet literally started uh, the minute I got invited into the group. <laughs> um, the three of us are very opinionated people. We are avid followers of the show and anytime like and not just the show but you look at everything i follow when whether it's you know the U- ufc you know comic books itself harley quinn i am very avid in what i watch you know i'm not just going to sit there and go okay i watched this it was good okay move on i'm going to i'm going to debate it 
And that is what these things are about. Everybody has a different opinion. Everybody has a different view. And you get a whole bunch of views together and you're going to see a show in a whole different light. Um, same with the movie. And I definitely agree with uh, with Weem. I have to say this because I I believe I've uttered this statement at least six times in the last week. What is, what's wrong with society is more people need to be Lucille'd. Uh, <laughs> I fully agree, Weem. More oh people God. do need to be Lucille'd. And unfortunately, if I was the one carrying the bat, I think the world would be a smaller place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Help control the human population. Lucille people. Yes. That is all. Uh, if if you want to hear more about my opinions on uh, the, the Walking Dead, which I gladly will give you more opinions, um, either through Facebook or uh, Twitter. Uh, so you can actually follow me on Twitter at real c a p t fizz so at real captain fizz. I will answer any Walking Dead related questions or any question. Period. Um, depending and, on how stupid the question is, I may or may not give attitude. <laughs> and I'll pretty much discuss well. I don't know, wrestling, and I don't know, you guys... I, I, I think anyone who's actually in, you know, interested in EFED, I think you might be one of the best person to actually ask. No, <laughs> um, I, I definitely think uh, my buddy William here, uh, we need to get him on here with his uh, uh, Bam Bam, Terry, you know, Terry Gordy, you know, you know, Impersonation. I, 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 yeah. I really think the worst possible thing for this show is to put me and Weem on the show at the same time. Um, oh, God. Because it, it, if I ever meet Weem in real person, I think him and I are both going to grab the closest bat, wrap it in barbed wire, and run down the street screaming bloody murder. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I could just imagine just skipping alongside and sing, you know, singing, someone's going to get it. Oh, no, no. See, the whole point it. about being Lucille is you don't know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's pretty much my rant for the first part of the show. I think I think it was an awesome rant. Yeah, um, and, stupid uh, people, they make my world awesome. And your rants are great because I was able to go off and do a bunch of posting on Twitter, on Facebook, and I even uh, I'm po- you know I'm on uh, LinkedIn, and so I actually post the show on LinkedIn. So if you guys wanted to find out, holy smokes, you mean we actually got all our social media done before I ran out of breath? Pretty much. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> This is rare. Like we haven't done a live show in a long time, and, I, and I, I'm I, I feel like I'm missing my 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 partner here. Like, <laughs> well, and part of this is again is we really need to get someone to help us with social media because I end up going off and using like sharing on Twitter like with five different you know. Uh, Twitter just, accounts, three just, of which just, I don't even just use. Do, just do what I do. You know, go to share our, our Facebook page and share our Facebook page to our Facebook page. And speaking of which, <laughs> you guys, uh, or, you always can go check out our Facebook page. Uh, we do have a lot of fun on there. I, I tried to go off and post some interesting pictures at least um, once a day, if not once every other day. Uh, so just look us up at the Captain Fizz and Mask Guy. And you'll you'll find our page there, and of course, uh, you, there's been some pictures that were recently posted uh, from this Saturday's uh, past Saturday's, pardon me, uh, Legends of Wrestling convention. We'll talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, that's both both on our Facebook page as well as on our website. Uh, so you can always go down to www.fizzmashshow.com. Dot com. And you will go off and you'll see a bunch of pictures on there. Yeah, actually, all the pictures from uh, not last weekend, but the weekend before HorrorCon, all those pictures up there. I was up to about 2 o'clock in the morning uh, making sure I posted all uh, every single one of them. I think I went blind at one point. Um, I tried clicking the same picture like six times. Uh, <laughs> never, never upload anything to a uh, to a website at two o'clock in the morning. It's a bad idea. It's just nothing. There's nothing good after two o'clock. And if you don't believe me, you know, watch television after two o'clock. All there is is like infomercials. You know what? You learn so much things from the infomercials. I've learned that I don't like infomercials. <laughs> uh, so- 
So I, I think that's where I first discovered the magic bullet. Yes, and I yes. curse you know you know the infomercials because now.